Oi, oi, mu blisi. Okay, let's try and uh, RNG the Zygarde here. So, Zygarde's got actually a number of quirks compared to some of the other RNGs that you will be doing in Sun and Moon. For example, uh, it the game seems to RNG as if there's three NPCs in the room when there is only one. I don't know if that's because of the computer in the thing or what, but, you know. Um, another interesting thing is Synchronizer always works with him, but that's how Megarnia and the other one work as well. Uh, the type null. So, okay, that's our seed. So, yeah, I, I did this a second ago, but I messed up something, something fierce. So let's see if we can get anything good. Alright, so... Uh, so there's only a few doubles here. Uh, I'm gonna go for this one. So, uh, so when you're searching for your Zygarde, uh, 10 or 50, they'll both be uh, at level 50 if you've completed the game. Otherwise, you should check what level it is when you assemble it. Um, like, because earlier in the game you can get one at like level 40. So just check the level and change it. Like, so just assemble it once first to check the level. Uh, so synchronizing always works with it, so uh, I suggest doing that, it just opens up more spreads. Synchronizing doesn't change the frames or anything like that. So I have a jolly synchronizing Kadabra with, um, uh, yeah, so I check both of these off. And uh, always sync needs to be checked. Um, even if you're not using a synchronizer, this box has to be checked off. That's just how it works. And I always like to do show status because it if you change all this information here, it fills out what needs to be uh, like changed for you, like what level you get them at, uh, always synced is checked, what level, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I like to do show status. All right, so I got my seed. I'm going to plug it in over to here. Calculate. Um, like I said, it thinks that there's three NPCs in the room. I don't know why. Um, the big thing was figuring out... It wasn't too... There's only a few options as to... as to where Zygarde could be even generated. When I was first doing it, I thought maybe it was when I hit yes here, but it's not. It's, uh, this, this text box is when you, when you hit yes. Or when you hit A, you wait for timer, the Eon timer. Alright, and I think it's technically generated at this screen, but I'm not positive. Like when it loads up and asks if you want to nickname it. Um, but you can't press A to get that screen to come any faster. So 129 is good, that's the perfect health. 120, 91, 66, nope. Alright, let's see what frame I hit, boys. So, I like to search by stats, I think it's the best. Oh, this seems like it's a pretty good Zygarde. Oh, but my speed's probably not maxed out, huh? No. Nope, my special attack is 66, 100... 132. Oh, the first three stats are all perfect. Uh, so I was aiming for 2623. 2623. Update search. So I was <clears throat> about 50 frames off. That's uh that's reasonable. I was aiming this 2777 calibration is for my uh is for my 3DS XL, not my 2DS. Because the 2DS loads slower, so I don't like RNGing on it unless I'm doing a video. Alright, what am I doing here? So then when you want to calculate what you missed, so 54, so I do 54 divided by 30, and uh, 1.8. So now normally you'd add 1.8 to your timer zero, or no, I keep calling it timer zero, your Eon timer, you'd add 1.8 to the pre-timer, but uh, since there's three NPCs in the room, you gotta divide this number by three. So I gotta add 0.6 to my pre-timer here. Uh, so let's do 2.777 plus 0.6. There you go, three. 
3.3377. So that's my new pre-timer. Uh, and <clears throat> I'm going to solve reset. So let's go back to here. Get back to my needles. Yeah, the needle method, I actually kind of, I don't mind it at all, the safe spinner. It's really easy to identify once you get used to the patterns and how they work and stuff. I used to need the the videos for it, but now I just, I can just, I have almost like a 100% needle identification rate. Because the pictures here are a little bit misleading, I find. They go a little farther, uh than the picture in the RNG tool indicate. The RNG tool counts up to the point where you... before it fades away. If you look at them in a frame-by-frame -frame sense, um, there's, a, there's a, like a few frames where... there's a few frames where it will be... your character portrait will be there and the needle will also be there. And that can kind of mess people up sometimes. So uh, it's actually just the frame, the frames before uh, your portrait is loaded and the, the needle is there still. So I got my seed, uh, I confirmed it, so we're searching from 426 to 50 thou. And we're going to search. Let's see. Oh, juicy boys, look at this puppy. Wow, that's four in a row right at the start there, I like this, alright. Uh, I feel like I'm going to miss it because... <laughs> You know, even though I just calibrated my pre-timer, I probably have some more calibrations to go on. Um, but whatever. We'll see. Zero, five, six. Alright, and we're just going to do it again. So, one of the things I, I am interested in is I believe I can transfer a Zygarde from Kalos. So I believe I can transfer a Zygarde from Kalos, right? And um, and disassemble that into more Zygarde thingies. Alright, so he's not the one. Let's see what I did. Search my stats. What an awful Pokemon this is. Uh, I, what was I aiming for? 2044, 2051? I was a little late. Wait. Alright, is that what I was aiming for? Wait, I'm confused. What was I aiming for? 2044. I was 7 frames late. Wait a minute. Oh man, I, I could have been even three frames late. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So I'm just doing the. Uh, this is my successful attempt, and so I'm just doing the uh, the spinners here. I've gotten pretty good at them over the last while. Um, this RNG took me quite a while to get done. Uh, I kept missing Zygarde by a, a minuscule amount of frames, and I want to go into detail about why. Uh, so the reason it's so hard for Zygarde, and it will be like this for Type Null and Meigarnia, is the more NPCs there are in the room, the faster the frames advance, which means the more precise you have to be with your button input down to the second. Um, so just don't give up when you when that happens, just keep aiming for it and you'll eventually hit the Zygarde you want. Uh, just to remind you, uh, you hold, uh, you don't hit any buttons until uh, on these, bleh, what I'm trying to say is, when the timer hits zero, you hit A on the uh, the text box that says Zygarde got into a Pokeball. So you leave it at the text box that says Zygarde got into the Pokeball. Um, this is the only good spread for Zygarde uh, dog, I think. Um, and here I was just checking for the um, the stats. Uh, this is post commentary, obviously. Um, I don't believe Zygarde uh, Zygarde dog has like any other good stat spread. He should be going for uh, Jolly Max Tech Max everything else except special attack like he's just otherwise he's basically a garbage mod but um i i think it's also helpful for zygarde particularly um to go for giant frame windows like i had a i had a six frame window there i screwed up like a 10 frame window once so you want big frame windows 
Um, hopefully this helps. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Um, I'm probably going to do a trainer ID guide soon and uh, a different EV training method. So thank you guys for watching. Here's the Zygarde. Uh, you heard my sigh. I was done with it. So see you next time.